Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and in this video I'm going to be showing the fastest fully upgraded vans around a circuit and the best vans to use for races. For the full story about what I did, check the annotation on the screen or the link in the description for the intro video, but otherwise, let's get straight into it. So in last place for the vans is unfortunately the Taco van. It is big, it is very heavy and it's very slow as well. A 1 minute 49.7 it's uh, yeah, it's one of the slower vehicles in the entire game for racing. However, just ahead of it in 13th place is the Surfer, which is definitely the slowest fully upgradable vehicle in the game. It only gets a lap time that's two tenths of a second quicker than the Taco Van, and the Taco Van can't be upgraded, whereas that is a fully upgraded Surfer. So yeah, that really is the worst fully upgradable car in the entire game. So in 12th place is the Boxville. The Boxville gets a lap time of 1 minute 48.6 which is just ahead of what we've seen and all of the car, all of the vans around this section kind of get that same sort of lap time, you know, it, it's in the 1 minute 40 uh, area. You can't upgrade any of these vans, they are very very slow, it would be interesting to have a race between all of these but they, they're not on the pace of even sort of the, the top 8 or 9 vans in the class. So 11th there for the journey and in 10th just ahead of it is the camper which is basically the, the, bet, the best of the worst vans really. With a 1 minute 45.7 it, it kind of rounds out that sort of that area of the vans where they are big and very very slow. We do start getting a little bit quicker lap times from this point on. Now just to let you know that most of the vans in the class can't actually be upgraded. They can't be stored in your garages they can only be used in a race from the lobby screen beforehand. So the same is for the Rumpo here in ninth place, but there is a bit of a jump in lap time here. So the Rumpo gets a 1 minute 29.4. We, we've taken a big chunk of time there off what we've seen from the camper. And the the top nine vans really are reasonably close, you know, for, for a, a class like this, they're not too bad, especially considering that the Rumpo and everything up until fifth place aren't actually upgraded either so you can't upgrade them they are only from the lobby screen before a race same for the burrito in eighth place so th these vans that we're seeing now from ninth basically to sixth do quite well to get the lap times that they do you know a woman at 28.9 isn't too bad especially considering that that isn't even upgraded that's completely stock so you know there's nothing that you can do to see what lap times they would get upgraded because you just can't upgrade them but it's interesting to note that even when they are stock, they are getting lap times that aren't too far off the cars that we that we'll see in the top five. So the Pony is in seventh, and whilst a lot of the vans have a very similar style to them, you know, they're big, they're bulky, they're quite slow, the Pony has a lot of traction in the corners, and that's where it's got a lot of strength. So on tracks with very, very tight sections, the Pony would do very well. It does have a bit of a, a deficiency in straight line speed, but it's definitely the second best van if you are doing a stock vehicle race. And the best van if you're doing a stock race is the clown van. Now the clown van's strength is straight line speed. It's got very good speed in a straight line. Obviously uh, about a second quicker than what we just saw from the pony there with a 127.8. Um, obviously you can't upgrade the clown van. But if you are doing a race with vans and you, you can't use any custom vehicles. It's stock only. The clown van is the one to choose with the Pony a close second. So that, that's what you would choose if it was a stock race. Now let's get into the top five, which are all upgraded. So in fifth place is the Bobcat XL. This gets a lap time of 1 minute 26.5. So as I was saying, it's not all that better than a, a non-upgradable clown van, but it's still slightly, it is still slightly quicker. So the Bobcat's very, very heavy. You know, it's very hard to get around the corners. It, it's, it's just a, a slow vehicle like most of the vans but you can really feel the, the difficulty in the steering with it. Having said that, it does get a better lap time than uh, than most of the stock vans that we've seen. So in fourth place is the minivan. The minivan has reasonably good traction, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, with a 1 minute 24.8, we've taken a good chunk of lap time off we just what we just saw from the, the Bobcat there. And this is starting to get into the more serious vans, you know. These are the, these are the ones that if you are doing serious van races uh, and you can have custom vehicles, these are the vans that you can use. So a 1 minute 24.8 for the minivan and just ahead of it in third place is the Paradise. The Paradise obviously was a DLC vehicle, it was one of the first DLC vehicles that we got. You can store it in your garage, you can upgrade it, the engine, the table, all that stuff. 
and it does get a reasonably good lap time for the class. A 1 minute 23.6, a significant chunk taken out of the minivan there, and yeah, it, it's not too bad, you know, it, it's probably one of the better all-round vans. It's got reasonably good straight line speed, reasonably good uh, traction and handling in the corners. It, it, feel, it doesn't feel too bad at all, really. Uh, it, it, it would be remain to be seen sort of how the Paradise would fare against some of the vehicles that we can't upgrade, but as it stands, it, it's, a, it's a reasonable uh, option for the vans class and van races. In second place, just ahead of it, is the Yuga. Now the Yuga is quite small, sort of a little bit smaller than the, the all the other vans really, which might be a little bit of an advantage. It's again very similar to the Paradise in that it's got good speed in a straight line and it's got reasonably good traction and cornering capabilities as well. Very similar between those two and they get very, very similar lap times as well, with the Yuga being sort of half a second ahead with a 1 minute 23.0. So, you know, it is a, it is a shame that we only get sort of well really technically six different vans that you can actually store and upgrade but really it's only the top five because the surfer just doesn't count um but yeah it, it is a shame that we can't see what all of the other vans can do however really it probably wouldn't matter because the first place van is the bison now obviously it's more of a truck than a van really but it is classed as the van as a van in gta it's in the vans class you can race it in van races when you can uh, when you have the, um, the customs turned on and it demolishes everything else you know a 1 minute 20.3 it's three seconds quicker than the next best I, I don't even think even if you could upgrade a clown van and store it and race that I don't even think that would be able to beat it to be honest because the bison is just far and away better than every other vehicle in this class it's got better straight line speed better cornering capabilities it's much stronger as well it, it's just it's just the the best all-round vehicle for the vans class and if you are doing serious custom van races you need one of these because it will do you do you well um the the one thing just to let you know that van races can only be uh, activated in races that have a large grid formation so if you are creating a race make sure to have a large grid on it and then you will be able to access vans for that race Otherwise, if it's only a medium grid or a small grid, you can't have vans. So that's where you get vans. That's why you can do van races. Again, it is a shame that uh, we can't actually store more vans and upgrade them and see how all of them would do fully upgraded. But it turns out that really, I don't think it would make a difference. The bison would dom demolish everything anyway. So yeah, that's a, a huge gap there from the, the second place to the first place. Let me know what you think. Does the bison even deserve to be in the vans class? It would certainly make it a lot closer at the top if it wasn't. Let me know what you think down below. Obviously, leave a like if you enjoyed and feel free to go and check out previous episodes. They will be all linked in the description. And obviously, subscribe for future episodes as well. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate your support, as always. And I'll see you next time.